All right, let's check back into that breaking news on Bronner Parkway and Carroll Lane, where Corpus Christi police and first responders have been on the scene for hours. That's right. That's where we find our Cordero McMurray, who's working to gather information. And Cordero, it seems like we just got some new information right now. Now, what is that information? What do you know at the moment? Javier, well, I spoke with officials. I just got off the phone with them. And what we know is that the driver and the passenger of this vehicle that's being transported right here um, have died and that there was a passenger, another person in the back seat who was transported to the hospital. But we do not know the status of that person. We don't know the age of the driver or the passenger or the other person in the vehicle. But we do know that two people have died from this crash and one person is in the hospital. Now, we did report that there were a thousand power outages earlier. Currently, right now, there are 600 power outages, but AEP Texas is here on scene to the left of our screen here, and they are working diligently to try and get this power, this pole here that uh, the car had crashed into. They're trying to get that power up for folks. But I did speak to a neighbor earlier, and they said they heard a crash and then saw a flash of green from her balcony just before 3 a.m., and they are still remain uh, without power here. Uh, we are still working to get more information for you and more updates, and we'll have that online and on air when we learn more. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, 6 Sunrise.